homelessness in the United Kingdom. For the longest time, the word homeless has been used as a negative connotation to describe someone. This has resulted in a stigma attached to homeless people, products of socio-economic failure which they enforced upon themselves due to inadequacy and incompetence. Therefore, we also believe that these people choose to live life like this. However, this is not entirely the case. Homelessness is a social issue that needs to be addressed. According to the crisis.org.uk, a total of more than 200,000 people, including families, senior citizens and young individuals, experienced some of the worst forms of homelessness in the United Kingdom this year. This is an alarming number, especially after being the fifth largest economy in the world. The number of homeless people also increased due to the recent pandemic, as many struggling individuals lost their jobs and were unable to make ends meet. Understanding there is a problem A poll was conducted to understand the perception of homelessness in Britain and it indicated that 9 out of 10 people agreed that homelessness is a serious issue faced in the region and that largely homelessness is a result of socio-economic issues outside the control of an individual. Homelessness is caused due to various reasons. Some of these include poverty, unemployment, lack of affordable housing or life events that pushed people into this social spectrum. Since homelessness has a causal relationship with the aforementioned factors, escape from it is tough. In fact, homelessness is an added layer of burden and stress that an individual has to go through on top of the social or personal issues he or she faces. However, it is not impossible to defy homelessness and live a better life. Types of Homelessness There are multiple types of homelessness and should be addressed accordingly. To begin with, rough sleeping. This is the most vulnerable and dangerous form of homelessness. As the name suggests, rough sleeping means sleeping on streets or abandoned public areas. This not only causes detrimental impacts on the physical health of an individual, but also results in trauma and disturbed mental health. In addition to this, rough sleepers are susceptible to substance abuse and catching diseases. Statutory homelessness is another form of homelessness that makes families experience due to strict homelessness assistance criteria. People that are financially weak or face poor socio-economic conditions and are unable to afford a residence rely on government support for finding a secure place to live. However, the increased homeless population has placed a burden on the government. As a result, many people are deprived of assistance. Moreover, only temporary accommodation is provided to those that qualify for the program and in the long run, they remain homeless. Apart from this, another form of homelessness exists known as hidden homelessness. It is used for people that do not have a permanent residence and stay with their friends or family. People as such usually do couch surfing or live in overcrowded residences. Therefore, the name hidden homelessness and it is also tough to identify such individuals. Homelessness, as mentioned before, can directly impact the health of an individual. Any homeless person is more likely to get infected by multiple viral and non-viral diseases. According to research conducted by University College London, almost one out of three homeless individuals die from treatable medical conditions. It also identified that cardiovascular diseases were a common cause of death in the homeless population. However, apart from this, many homeless individuals indulge themselves in substance abuse, which is also one of the leading factors for mortalities in the homeless population. How is homelessness caused? The rate of homelessness has been under constant fluctuations with both periods of high and low. The Department of Communities and Local Government quoted some figures to help the public and organisations working for the issue. According to them, the total number of individuals registered was almost 100,000 in 1998. This number continued to increase until 2003 as it reached 135,000. After this, there was a decline in the homeless population as the number decreased to 40,000, but in 2017 it again increased to 80,000. These figures help us to understand the cyclic pattern that homelessness has. 
While it is greatly believed that homelessness is caused due to personal factors, but research shows that personal factors are not a dominant factor. Instead, an interplay of multiple factors such as structural, society and personal lead an individual to homelessness. It is also suggested that young individuals face additional factors as well. Although personal factors may vary across each individual, they all face the same structural factors such as rising house prices, low wages, high cost of living and job insecurity. Homelessness in the UK Homelessness in all over the United Kingdom is addressed by the Ministry of Housing, Communities and Local Government alongside the Homes and Communities Agency. Using the instructions and framework issued by the Ministry and the Agency, all local housing authorities have a legal duty to provide advice and counselling to the homeless 24 hours throughout the year. In addition to this, people that are at risk of homelessness within 28 days can also benefit from this advice. It is also amongst the legal statutory of local housing authorities to investigate the circumstances of people that have filed for homelessness and find them a temporary residence during the investigation. All individuals are subject to the same process and criteria except those that qualify for a priority condition. Priority conditions are as follows. Pregnancy a dependent child, an age of 16 to 17, aged 18 to 20 and leaving local authority care, vulnerability due to old age or mental illness or mental or physical disability, leaving the armed forces, leaving prison, fleeing or at the risk of domestic violence, homelessness due to an emergency such as flood, fire or other disasters. In some parts of the United Kingdom, such as Wales, young individuals aged between 18 and 22 and who are at risk of financial or sexual exploitation also qualify for priority. The government also initiated a national service for rough sleepers under the name of the Street Link in 2012. The aim of Street Link was to help rough sleepers by providing immediate assistance. Members of the public could identify a rough sleeper and alert the local bodies using StreetLink so that governments could assist the person and provide temporary residence. But the service is not statutorily based. This means that it is not mandatory for the local housing authorities to respond to such a request. StreetLink also has special services that are offered to rough sleepers on a conditional basis. If a rough sleeper has substance abuse issues, they will be referred to an organisation that would not only help them with fighting off their addiction, but also get them registered as a homeless individual so that they can receive homeless assistance. Similarly, if a rough sleeper is a foreign national that has no rights to public funds, then repatriation assistance is offered to them. Repatriation means that the individual will be returned to his or her homeland in the best possible manner. This includes not only finding a temporary residence in the UK while the repatriation takes place, but also finding accommodation in the native country and financial assistance. What can be done? Countless organisations in the public, as well as the private sector, are working to counter the rising homeless population in the United Kingdom. As responsible citizens, we should donate and contribute to this noble cause. Not only do these organisations help the existing homeless population, but also assist people that are on the verge of homelessness due to financial crisis or personal issues. In addition to this, it is also important to raise awareness on the issue and make sure that people understand their responsibility as active citizens of the United Kingdom. The crisis has maintained a great reputation as working for the homeless people all over the region. According to their analysis, it is suggested that the public sector should build 100,500 social homes a year to address the needs of people experiencing homelessness and those on a low income, introduce housing first nationally, providing homes and specialised support for people experiencing homelessness, improve rights for private renters and improve housing benefits. The care system, hospitals, prisons should be legally required to help find homes for those leaving their care. There should be homelessness specialists at job centres. This makes it evident that both the private and public sector needs to collaborate in order to curb homelessness. 
The need to formulate policies and bring reforms in public policy is needed as much as providing shelter to the homeless. The country is in dire need of effective policy design so that the rising homeless population can be restrained. While there is no country that has no homeless population, but the number of people without shelter in the UK is alarming. Therefore, as a developed nation and one of the leading economies of the world, it is the responsibility of the government to fight this social issue in the best possible manner. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell.